Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Overflow. In this video, we'll discuss another liquid problem that is the top K frequent words. This is a medium level problem and we'll understand what the, the question is and how we can solve it easily. So before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to Learn Overflow for regular liquid videos like this. The question says we are given an array of strings, that is words, the name is words, and an integer K. Okay, so we need to return the K most frequent strings. So that's the thing is that we need to return the k most frequent strings. Finally, uh, like to explain further, it says like return the answer sorted by the frequency from highest to the lowest. That is the highest frequency. Uh, the words with the highest frequency should come first, and the words with the lowest frequency should come towards the last. But if the if two words have the same frequency, then we should sort them in lexicographical order. Okay, they sort the words with the same frequency by the lexicographical order. So the question is like pretty understandable that uh, say uh, say over here in this example one, we can see that I is there two times and love is there two times and else start the two words are like one time, one time, coding and lit code. Uh, sorry, lit code and coding, yeah. And we need to select the two words only having the uh, maximum frequency. Right. So we find that there are two words, I and love, that is uh, having the maximum frequency of two each. So what we did, we just added them two. So once we found that both have the same frequency, so we sorted them based on uh, like the lexicographical order. So I comes before L, so therefore I is there before L. Right. So that's the lexicographical order. Now, uh, uh, if there are multiple different frequencies, then we have been sorting like highest frequency at the front and the lowest frequency at the end. So this is the whole idea. Now, how we should solve this question? This question is, see, first you need to, to have something, to have to have a count of all the words. Like how, each word is occurring how many times, right? That's important for us. Like if the each word is uh, like how many times they are repeated or what's the count of each of the words is necessary for us. And that's why firstly we think need a count. And how we should do that? We should do that using a hash map. Okay, for each of the words, we will uh, store uh, what's the count of them, fine? What's the idea? So there's a hash map of string to integer, fine? So we'll store them. Now, once our hash map is done, now we will uh, store these words in a form of a priority queue. Now we'll say why and how priority queue will be useful for us. Now, the priority queue will be helping us store the results in this particular format, the particular format they wanted. That is, the they should be sorting the frequency from the highest to lowest. Now, priority queue will help us to sort it in the particular frequency. And also, once uh, in our priority queue, once we find the two words having the same frequency, we will store them based on the lexicographical order. So that we can do in a priority queue very much easily. So that should be the basic idea for that. Fine. Now, I think this is more or less understandable, like how we should go ahead with that. Okay. So uh, the, if I just repeat the idea, this is to like, what we need to do, we need to keep a count of each of the words in a hash map and then insert them in the priority queue. Fine. Now, uh, post that while inserting in our, in our priority queue, if the count of the two words is the same, then we should insert that based on the string uh, compare of the keys. Okay, so we should do that uh, string string comparison. If you re remember, there's a uh, function of string that is compare to. So we can get uh, make use of that. Fine, to find out which one is less geographically higher or lower. Fine, we can do that. Now uh, uh, later on, uh, if our priority queue size uh, gets a more than k, we'll simply pop up pop up element. So what will pop will do? Whoever is the smallest element or whoever is the lesser value element that will get popped up. Right, and let after that, we we only left with the priority queue of size k. Now move one by one all the elements of the priority queue to our uh, result uh, list. That's the list uh, we need to return, right? Now pop one by one to our result list, and then uh, return that. That's it. So that's the whole idea we need to do it. Oh yeah. Okay. But make sure the priority queue is not in descending order. Like the order they asked here is highest to lowest. So that's a descending order. But a priority queue will be in the increasing order or ascending order. Why? Because while uh, our length becomes more than k, we'll keep removing elements from the front, right? Priority queue does that. So in that case, we'll remove the ones having the lowest frequency. So those will be getting new. So our priority queue will be in ascending order. So while adding it to our final list, we should remember that we should add them in a reverse order. Okay. So that uh, is just a... Uh, it just gives the exact order, highest to lowest, or the descending order they wanted. So that's uh, is good. Right. So I hope it's pretty much understandable how we can understand this uh, or approach this particular equation. Okay. So let's quickly go ahead and write the code, and then I'll again uh, explain it how we can uh, like what we're trying to uh, come up in this solution. Okay. Let's go ahead with that.
So as you can see, this is like an uh, 12 millisecond solution. Uh, not the fastest solution, but obviously easier to understand solution. Let's understand what we did over here. First of all, we took a result like uh, So this is where the final result will be returning. Okay, so this is the final result. Then uh, what we do? We took the map, right? We took a map and then uh, this map is pointing for each of the string to integers. Now, what uh, our particular work of this is like counting the frequency of each of the words, right? Like the words frequency we are counting it. Next, what we're going on, like what we're doing exactly is like we took a priority queue. Now, understand how this priority queue is built. This priority queue, in this priority queue, we are uh, taking map.entry. Okay, so map.entry is like uh, we are doing a map dot entry. So it's like the entry points of the map. So what the map probability always gives us that string, uh, like the key value pair is given to us as a uh, whole uh, entity. Okay. So that's what map entity works like. Now, in the priority queue, what we're doing, we're taking like say A comma B, like the two entries, A and B entry. Now, what we will be comparing, this should be compared based on, first it will check whether A dot get value equals B dot get value. So when you say a dot get value, b dot get value, in the entry uh, class, like when we are using the map dot entry, then what happens? It gives us two things by default. One, for each of the entry, we get the value, we get the key. So we can ask for get value or the get key. So that will be the entry for that particular key value pair. We are getting the value or the uh, uh, key. So that's what we can make use of the entry. Now we're checking if the value are equal. That means if the counts of the words are equal, then uh, like if it is true, then this part will be utilized. And if the count is not equal, then the rest of the part will be utilized. Okay, so that's the idea. Now see what happens if it is true. Like if the frequency of two words are equal, then what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to uh, compare the key. Uh, okay, so uh, b dot get key dot compare to a dot get key. Now the uh, idea is pretty simple. Whenever we are using compare to, this is a string function. Remember, but a b dot get key is actually returning as the particular string we have. Fine. So by similar a dot get key. So what are you doing? We're comparing both the strings using the compare to func method, and uh, we are finding out what is the particular compare. Is it who if it is less geographically uh, uh, lesser or higher? Right. We're just sorting based on less geographically. So that's the stuff we are doing over here. Fine. Next, what are we doing? In case this is false, that is the they have different values. Then we are simply storing them based on ascending order of their values. A dot get value minus b dot get value. Okay. And that's the uh, criteria, or that, that's the way we should store, and that's what we told our priority queue to do. Now, further, once this priority queue is built, this is the main important part, okay? Once this priority queue is built, then what we're going on, we are simply taking for each of the entry in our map and entry set, okay? Then what we, uh, we're just offering them to our uh, priority queue. One by one offering, and if the priority queue size is becoming greater than k, we are just polling. So what's happened when you are polling? The priority queue uh, is like, I say, once the value or the two count is different, so the priority queue is storing them based on the lesser count values at the top and the bigger count values at the end. So as I was discussing, the priority queue was uh, storing them in the best of like the ascending order, fine. Ascending order on the count of each words, fine. So uh, in that case, what it will do, it will simply pop the values. So once we're saying uh, pq dot poll is like we are simply removing the values with lesser counts. Okay, so that's what we are doing over here. And ultimately, what we did, we just went ahead with uh, pq dot uh, is a, like up till uh, our priority queue doesn't get empty, empty, we simply kept on polling our priority queue and got our keys. Okay, so for the particular keys we just kept on adding at the front. Remember, as I say, the priority key was storing in the ascending order, so we are just keep on adding the values in the front. So you can see result dot add zero, like at the zeroth index, uh, we just adding the values uh, or the keys. So that means we are just uh, storing the bigger values at the front, and the lesser values get shipped to the end. Okay, so that's the that, that was also the reason why we took a link list. Fine. Also, you could have done this on uh, analyst also, but uh, yeah. Finally, once done, we are returning the result. So this is the pretty much idea of this question or pretty much the approach we should do in this question. Now, as you saw, like this is a 12 millisecond solution, right? So can we improve this? The biggest question is there. Obviously, we can improve this. See, there are a few areas where our uh, particular time is getting consumed. Number one, we are using this whole uh, map, okay? And say, so what's the maximum use of this map? The maximum use of the map to do a counting of the words, right? In, instead of this map, if we have used some other uh, class, say word, uh, word uh, maybe some kind of uh, word frequency or some kind of other class, and in that we just took two values, that is a key and a value, okay, without this map, because map.entry takes us, uh, like, we are checking for the key is there or not, then we're adding it to the map, and uh, if, if, if the key is already there, then we are getting the map. See, there are multiple map calls are there. So we can reduce this time over here, fine? 
So we can definitely do this uh, time reduction over here. And now if we come across with a different class to store this uh, frequencies, then uh, like simply like uh, instead of that, use objects, objects of another class, right? So in that class, we also could have implemented this compared to method. So compared to method based on the, if we have implemented a compared to function in that class or overridden a method, then only our, uh, the whole task of this thing would have removed. Okay, so we could have done that. Okay, uh, let me quickly write that kind of solution and I'll show you that. Okay, let's quickly write that. Okay, so over here you can see like we implemented that exact uh, methodology using the what frequency class. Okay, so we implemented what frequency class and remember we implemented this uh, comparable. So this comparable will help us to do this compared to function. Okay, so what, what exactly we did in the what frequency first and how it is uh, removing our uh, that uh, map uh, mapping stuff. So in that what we're doing. See, we just took two, uh, two parts in it. One, the string word and the count, fine. In that, we are saying that the string, oh, uh, like uh, as a constructor, uh, what we did, we just took the word and the count. Okay, so again and again, if we need to increase the count, we are not increasing the, like calling the map again and again. We are simply increasing the count, uh, this count variable value, fine. So that would be helpful for us. I'll show you how we're doing that. Next, we also implemented a compared to function, as you can see our overridden function, because we implemented a comparable interface, the comparable interface, so we implemented that. And here we just saw like if the difference, the count, this dot count and that dot count. So we, uh, this is kind of store referring to the current uh, object who is calling this, and that is referring to here. Uh, we just took the variable who is being passed to. So if, if this start count is minus that count, the, the difference is the difference is not zero, then we are uh, passing that as like returning the difference. And if the difference is zero, then we are doing dot compared to with the uh, with the particular uh, string method. Okay, so this that is compared to the this dot compared. So though we are doing that. Now see how this is uh, improving our code. See here we took a map, but remember there this is not a map to the integer string to the word frequency. This is a class, fine. And then uh, this is hash map as well. So for each of the words and string, what we did, we just do it. Uh, like if, the, if that word is not in our uh, map, then we're doing ma map dot put word comma, uh, see a new object is inputted here, fine. Now, how is it improving? Because if the particular word is not in our map, we simply put a word and we just uh, keep our initial count as zero, fine, a new object. Now, further, every time, so this won't be called every time. This will be called whenever we find a new word. But whenever we find a repeated word, we are simply doing map dot get word. The particular word, uh, or the particular object is being found, and in that object, the count variable we are increasing that, right? So this is remove uh, like reducing our every time map call. Now further in the priority queue, you will see in the priority queue we did not do anything further. We simply had a priority queue of this word frequency. Fine. Right? What frequency is itself doing all the task of uh, having the all the comparing function, right? So we are doing this based on what frequency. Remember, we just took it as a priority queue k plus one. Okay. Now, what we are doing for each of the what frequency, we are uh, from where we are getting the what frequency map dot values. Like all the values the map had, that is this what frequency. Fine. Right? For all the values the map had, we simply uh, went ahead and. Uh, added to a priority queue. If a priority queue size is greater than k, we are polling it as, as we are doing earlier, right? And ultimately we take a uh, linked list of string and while uh, like the same formula what we're doing. So why, why we simply added it to first, add first is there. So the same thing we are doing like zero comma that add addition. So we're simply doing the priority queue dot poll dot word. So dot word is priority queue dot poll is returning as an object of this word frequency class and dot word is the particular string. So we're simply adding that. And finally returned our uh, particular uh, result or the resulting list, next or next list, fine. So we got a result. So that's the whole thing. Now, how is it? Is it really improving our code? Let's try this. Let me quickly run this. I uh, will see. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still a while. It's, it's not the one. Let's see. Uh, if I just uh, submit it, you will understand the difference. I think it should uh, definitely say, uh, though it's showing four MS, but it should actually fall down further. Anyways, I hope this is understandable how we can uh, solve this code or how we can find a solution. See that this is falling. Okay, then sleep could have this uh, uh, madness. Anyways, so I hope that you can understand this, uh, how you can solve this question and how you can find the solution to this kind of question. The idea remains same in almost all the cases, but uh, the approach of this question uh, it can be varied. Okay, you can uh, vary this using uh, various ideas. Fine. So if you have any doubts or any questions related to this, make sure to comment them now in the comments as well. I'll be happy to help you out in the comments. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope to see you soon in my next video as well. So thank you all.